I'm Geraldine and I'm from Fat Lab. I'm one of the 20, almost 22 fellows that we are already, we are celebrating uh, this year, our fifth anniversary already. So probably next year we're going to do some trouble about it. So I'm going to show you the last projects we have done. And um, this is the Googler, which was made by Andy. And basically it's like a, a dildo that pings when you uh, ping, when your browsers ping Google. So, here is. Oh, yeah, I don't know what is. Oh. Oh. So yeah, this is very useful. So, um, oh. Then we have the project of our speed fellow Aram. Uh, he made this. Um, he made art with uh, that like sketchy art to art to D to spyware that you Germans do to spy people in the world. And still got love for you. Uh, you can go to Cafe Morgan and see this like uh, code that was uh, printing in fast, I think, with uh, the whole uh, reverse engineer code for the uh, R2D2 awesome. thing. We're done. So it's that easy to turn code into art. And now it's your turn to make your own artwork. And it's especially worthy doing this when you find, I don't know, very beautiful code, or maybe you find code which is very fucked up. Like this code. <laughs> And then we have the QR code generator that Golan uh, Levin, that it's our latest new, fellow, latest new fellow, did. So you can just uh, generate some stencils for graffiti in the street, your QR codes. He made these Kobo codes uh, based on that application that you can download, obviously, from FAT. And then we make this project for Occupy. Uh, we recruit a GIF army. We ask people to send us their protest gifts. Then we create um, a little code that you can add into your web page to protest from your browser, not even your couch. And we really took uh, to the next level the, I don't know, couch activism uh, concept. Then we make this service. Once we have uh, all these gifts that we recruit and people started like adding to their sites, we were, which were like more than 700, we gave them this service so you can force occupy any website on the internet that you want. So you can put like on Bloomberg, on Goldman Sachs or whatever, your protest, your gift protest. And then we make this uh, plugin that you can just occupy with a 99% and see how many people were protest and you could be in protest mode or in peaceful mode. <laughs> and these are most lots of the screenshots we got from the people that actually put the protest in their website, which as I said were more than 700. Then um, it was our Force Occupy plugin was also in the TEPCO research. One minute, extend time. Okay, we did all of that and, oh sorry, we made an exhibition and also we have a new uh, documentary that was on PBS but we don't have time to see it, so you will have to see it in your house. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Okay, you, you've got 30, 31 seconds, but yeah, I, I guess. Know. Where are you? In Berlin? No, we are in the internet. <laughs> <laughs> can you use your, uh, your protest widget uh, for other things too? Yeah, you can use it. For instance, I didn't show it, but we did an exhibition. So we use all the people that put their, we use all the website that put this code to show them an exhibition we curate with some hack, uh, Evan curate with some hackers and like some artists and, and other people that make uh, net art. So yeah, you can use it, uh, it, the code is in GitHub. So if you want to use it for force occupy other things, <laughs> other sites. Cool.